stunning super blue moon uh, three days after the full moon so top right corners just missing but anyway still beautiful I'm gonna do a couple of poems as uh, we certainly seem to be seeing all the signs of the last days before Jesus Christ returns, the end days. And yeah, I think it's quite clear to see that we're in a um, we're being ruled by corruption, money, greed, profit, and led into many temptations which are against the Lord's Prayer. Personally, the sinner's prayer in the church affirms that people are sinners and not good enough to overcome those sinful, wrongful inclinations and then we're just seeing abuse everywhere and we're seeing children confused and we're seeing families broken many mothers seem to be doing huge amount of, of work as well as mothering and they're shattered how many millions are online on pornography seeing images that they're not loving. When I was growing up, we used to talk about making love. These days, it seems to be just a quick shag. Oh. And everyone's falling short on love. And what's there to be proud about if you've got a colour missing in the rainbow? You're not reaching the full spectrum of light, which is not reaching the full spectrum of love because love produces energy vitality well-being and light the light of love and I would go so far as to say that that's the aura of the being within us. The saints had the golden halo. So when we attained that most positive state of being, then it's golden. It's positive. We haven't positively died. It says that back in Genesis. Do not positively die from eating of the tree of knowledge of good and bad. Because God doesn't want us to know the bad knowledge, the evil knowledge, the hellish fear. Yeah, people like to be titillated by it. But it just produces fears, phobias, anxieties mental health disturbances. I had enough nightmares as a child. I don't need to be entertained with evil. Anyway, 666 is the number of the beast. Revelation 13. And it talks about malignant ulcers. Well, I question whether that's a cancer. Cancer's rife in our world, isn't it? Mm. Where's it all coming from? We know many, many causes of cancer, and yet, carry on. My mum died of cancer when I was 11. My dad supported cancer charities for a long time, but I don't. 
we know how to not promote cancer. We know how to stop cancer. But we need a lot of changes in this world. And perhaps going back to some of those good home values. So, 666, sin, is anti to Christ. Anti-whole, incomplete, falling short of love, made whole in mind, body and spirit. Falling short of the corpus callosum, joining hemispheres, falling short of corpus Christi. Broken flows of infinite eights, 888 in mind, body and spirit. 666. No positive crossovers for a positive life. No 144,000 positive thoughts for making love whole. For creating oneness in love. For whole in mind, body and spirit. Zero. Zero, zero. 666 is the number of the beast. 666 lacks completeness in love made whole and one in us. 8011. 666 is the number of the beast, flesh without spirit of God's love. Man mean, mean men, mean women. 666 is anxiety and fear in mind, body and self, with no whole spirit of love, just flesh cultivating toxins, fear and conflict for war. I'll show you that poem. I'm actually talking about the form of the, the number 6 and the number 8 and the whole or the zero. Yeah, the sum of all evil and righteousness with God. When one and one do not make two, and two and two do not make four, when 144,000 becomes 666, then we know the sum of all evil. And there's only one way back to God. Revelation Sonnet. The revelation, revolution is at hand, for surely God knows what is best for man. He says, don't dim his light with sin, for surely sin will not benefit him. When is doomsday, none can be sure. But maybe already there is a door, a door to open for man to see how God's love will become heavenly. The door only needs one special key, to make life perfect for you and for me, we need to polarise the spectrum of light and shine the way forth for all to live right. The light is shining bright forthwith and commands consciousness of how God's love forgives. And God loves, forgives and asks us to turn around to not sin anymore. The wages sin pays is death. It's death of love, death of the spirit, the Holy Spirit of peace, because the conscience is activated. And that causes stress and stress hormones. And God's love is not a stress hormone, but a naturally occurring endorphin blood made whole and one in our body, which is the temple for God's love to dwell. Jesus Christ is returning. We're coming up to the Feast of Trumpets. And the seventh trumpet will blow. Love is not a cortisol. Peace is not a cortisol. It's time to end all abuse. And the Sound of Freedom is now in the UK. So do go and see it and wake up to the sinister child trafficking that's going on and will be ended. God bless. Wake up. Hallelujah. Maranatha.